Hi everyone and welcome to another episode in my Unreal Engine 4 tutorials. In this snack size video we're going to cover how to take screenshots, both normal and high, screen, uh, high resolution screenshots, both in game and inside the game. So let's start with outside the game in the engine. If you want to take a screenshot uh, you can just hit F9 and that will make a screenshot appear as a link at the bottom. And this is stored in your projects folder, in basic PNG screenshot, pretty simple. But if you want to do a high resolution screenshot, if you go up to the little arrow up top here, you can choose the high resolution screenshot tool. And this control panel here controls how we take pictures inside Unreal. So the first option we've got is screenshot size multiplier. And this is the size of the resolution, not the actual physical size of it. So if I were to change this to say 5 and took the picture, uh, screenshot, after a few seconds, we get the high res screenshot appear. And to show it's high res, if I look at the detail of this cushion, a lot more detailed. And if I were to go to the lower screenshot, you can see I, it's not as high as the detailed. Okay. So let's just clear those. Let's go through some of these options we have down here. Uh, we have include buffer visualization target visualization targets. And what that is, basically, it will render out every kind of buffer visualization there is. So what they are in the lit menu, you'll see buffer visualization. And you can do things like look at the metallic. It will show all the metal objects. Um, if I go to, say, um, opacity. Oh, not opacity, that doesn't really work. Um, roughness. Um, we can go into, um, what would be a good one? World normal. Yeah, so if you want to get all those out in one fell swoop, you can just tick this box and then click the uh, take a screenshot. I'll knock this down to one for this, and it will take a screenshot of all of those different modes, which can be quite useful for debugging. After you tick that, you do have another option. You have write HDR format visualization targets, very long with, but basically this is how you get HDR textures out. So high dynamic range basically means you get more colors. Um, so if I click this button now, with it ticked, I'll get HDR images. And you can see here EXRs are the format for high resolution, uh, high dynamic range images. And you'd open these up in Photoshop to be able to see them. Um, this option here, force one to eight bit buffers of a rendering pipeline. I'm not too sure what that does. Um, I haven't noticed any difference, but if you do know, please let us know in the comments below. I'll be uh, happy to learn what that does. The final option here is use custom depth as mask. So I'm going to turn these off and I'm going to tick this on. And what this does, it highlights any objects and mask out anything else that isn't uh, been identified to be in the custom depth uh, mask. For an object to appear in the custom depth, it, first of all, you have to select it, and on the right-hand side, you'll find the rendering menu, and in the advanced settings, you'll find render custom depth pass. And this will render it in a separate pass compared to the rest, uh, the rest of the uh, depth pass. The depth pass looks like this. Uh, where was it? I've seen depth. Uh, turn it off. So this is the normal depth mask, but if I were to turn on the custom depth, you can see just that one thing is uh, separated out. And what the use custom depth as mask means, it means I'm only going to render out this object. Everything else will be invisible or have a transparency to it. So if I click this button now, I get my lady here all on her own. Useful for advertising uh, materials. Uh, quite cool. Right, other than that, um, what else can we do? We can use the specify region tool here to specify a certain region to capture as such again could be quite useful um, we can got buttons here to accept it or discard it or make it fill the whole screen discard that and that's basically it for the higher res screenshot tool now if you want to take a higher res screenshot inside the game if I click play and then inside this world here um, I can hit the tilde key, which is above the tab key and just to the left of the numerical one key. Hit that, and you get a little command line appear at the bottom. And you can type in high res shot, and then here you can type in 
1 for example and I'll give it a size of 1 so that size menu slider you can change that value now you don't want that number to be too high I wouldn't go any higher than 10 uh, because it, you run the risk of crashing the engine because it's such a load on your graphics card so I did that I get a screenshot captured as such from inside the game now I also can get um, screenshots of various uh, sizes and resolutions so I've hit the tilde key again oh to the key again I can go high res shot and I can actually specify a resolution so I can go 3860 uh, by 20 uh, what's it 4k is it 2640 2460 um, can't remember it off by heart uh, do that and I get a nice big fat 4k screenshot And that can be as crazy as you like, it doesn't have to be a specified thing, you can do any any uh, resolution. So if I were to go back here, high res shot, and go uh, 3000 by 100, and I get a nice long thin one, like so. So that's it, that's how you do screenshots. If you do have any questions or comments below or feedback, please leave it in the youtube comments below if you like this video and want to see others uh, that are exclusive to my patreons or early access ones you can go on patreon.com forward slash ryan laley and for as little as a dollar you can join our discord community have a chat together and uh, watch some other videos exclusive just for you thank you very much please subscribe and i'll uh, see you next time Bye bye